Now, the Consumer Protection Agency is worried about increase in sale of unhygienic baby diapers flooding the market. This alerts follows complaints from parents who have unwillingly purchased substandard and potentially harmful products. The Consumer Protection Agency's investigation reveals that these fake diapers, often sold at lower prices, are being distributed at various markets across the country. These fake diapers have been found to lack essential features such as proper absorbency and safe materials, posing serious health risks to infants, including rashes, infections, and chemical burns. The Chief Executive Officer of the Consumer Protection Agency, Kofi Kapito, emphasized the agency of the situation. We are creating this awareness to let mothers and parents know that the fact that the diaper is cheap, it doesn't mean it's a good quality. Let's go for, let's at least squeeze ourselves if we can, because at the end of the day, the cost to you, the mother or the family might be more because you bought a cheap diaper, because the baby will get rashes. It might even cause, cause some external or some internal illness for your child, which will cost you more because you thought you were saving on her or his diaper. We further called on all relevant authorities to intervene and stop the importation of these fake diapers into the country. Goods that has been declared in Ghana that they shouldn't enter Ghana anymore. You see them on, on, in, in trucks coming. So the question is, people are the ports. People are the ports. The government should pay the, the Minister for Interior, National Security, all those security agencies that are the port. GRE, GRE, and that is where I have a problem. GRE is only interested in money, but they have, those, they have the collaboration of those agents. So even if GRE wants to take the money, some agent of the FDA can say, no, it doesn't fit to enter the country. In a sharp rebuttal, the Diaper Importers Association of Ghana categorically denied the allegations, suggesting that some of its members are involved in importing fake baby diapers into the country. Albert Obeng has been speaking to Metro News. We have engaged FDA on several occasions where we have told them that there are people bringing diapers in this form and this category that they have to clamp down on. However, the generalization is what is causing problem to our business. But we wanted the authorities to come clear as to what to see to identify a fake diaper. Not all the cheap diapers are fake.